What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and today I'm going to talk about uh, my new favorite team for Ultima 7 difficulty 5. This team makes that raid incredibly easy, even easier than the symbiotes. But in this video specifically, we are going to take a look at the Ronan boss node that is still a uh, I know that is problematic uh, depending on the team we are using. There are a few options. You can use Ultron with Phoenix, Black Bolt and Yo-Yo. You can use uh, Black Bolt, Yo-Yo and uh, three symbiotes. You probably can also use a full symbiote team, but it's still a know that is quite uh, difficult. And uh, I want to show you this team in action on that specific node and uh, show you how easy they can beat it and uh, some of these characters are not even at level uh, 80 or 75 so the gear i have right now on these guys we have a bishop at uh, level 80 and gear tier 14 5 yellow 5 red then i have emma frost 7 yellow 6 red level 75 gear tier 14 then mr sinister gear tier 15 and level 80 7 yellow, 6 red, beast level 65, yes, gear tier 12, 5 red, 5 yellow, and then we have Jubilee, I think uh, on the videos that we are going to watch, she was at level 71, right now she's at level 75 and gear tier 13, so some of these characters are decently geared, but they are not over geared, and because right now I'm on a new alliance and on the steel alliance they are not doing the doom raids yet so I'm focusing on making Ultima 7 as easy as possible and I have been finding this team very very enjoyable in terms of ISO 8 I have level 4 skirmisher on bishop then I have level 5 striker on Emma Frost, level 4 healer on Beast and on Mr. Sinister and the level 4 striker on Jubilee. Is this the optimal ISO weight for these characters? I'm not sure yet about some of them, but at least it works decently well on this specific situation of Ultima 7, Difficulty 5 and on the run and boss node. So this is the team, this is the stats, let's take a look at two clips of two different runs and see how well th this team does and uh, then uh, tomorrow or something like that I will give you a full run of Ultima 7, all nodes from the first until the, the War Machine node using this team all the time and you see how easy it is uh, with these guys. So like always, if you like the information, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and make sure you smash the, that like button. Also, leave a comment below saying if you have been using these guys, are you using the full Astonishing X-Men team or are you just using part of it? Because from my experience, I think it's better just to use part of it so you know exactly which characters are assisting than having the entire team and then it's a whole mess so with all that said let's take a look at the clips okay so here we are on ultimus 7 difficulty 5 ronan boss node we are jumping straight ahead and this team of course requires no healing <laughs> this team is quite good all the control it has the stuns blinds all kinds of stuff uh, is just insane so it requires zero healing so as you guys can see Korath always attacks Bishop but because Bishop has damage reduction and defense up it's fine then I like to focus a little bit on Korath just to make sure he doesn't have the, the speed up and then I try to make Beast or someone attack Doctor Strange and get him blinded then I focus my damage on uh, Juggernaut because I want to get rid of him as fast as possible. Now here I did a mistake or not, let's see. No, I, here I did okay, I used the special. If you use the ultimate there, it's not gonna work because Juggernaut is immune to stun. I like to clone Ronan because of the minions, they work as decoys, they can also steal buffs from the enemies and give energy to your team, so they are quite nice and uh, it's the the juggernaut is okay but I, I just prefer ronan 
because it can uh, ability block uh, several characters. So you want to stun Magneto with Jubilee the same way we do with the uh, Symbiote Spider-Man and then there is no real priority as soon as Magneto is stunned. You can focus on him but make sure you do some damage also to Ronan and to create Riot Guard. If you can blind Ronan, he's not going to be a huge deal, and uh, yeah. So with Beast, as you saw, I gave speed up to Mr. Sinister. Beast also gives energy to Mr. Sinister, so he can clone more often, if you have the chance. But uh, with that, you can spread that speed that you give to Mr. Sinister to everyone else, and it becomes quite useful. So with Magneto gone, we blind Pyro, and then you want to ability block Mystique. And like this, she will not be able to use her ultimate on your team. Now Bishop doing some damage. Bishop is a character that uh, he really impressed me because he's so much better than I expected. I knew he was going to be good, but not this good. He does so much damage and he's such a good uh, tank. <laughs> Even that he's a blaster that is just amazing. And uh, that's why I'm investing so much on this character level 80 and uh, soon to be gear tier 15. Okay, so now we focus on the second Ronan. We make sure that uh, the Doctor Strange is, is blinded so he doesn't remove the buffs from your team. Everyone is slow. And uh, I think there I did the mistake of trying to stun the Juggernaut. He's immune so it doesn't work. You should try to stun some other character like uh, in this case Ronan and uh, then you can still apply the slow to Juggernaut and uh, here it, it got very very close because I made that mistake and uh, here is the special, it was unnecessary, none of them have buffs, so uh, debuffs, so there was nothing spread now run on blind but it's uh, pointless and uh, yeah so even with a few mistakes I was still able to beat this fairly easy and once again, Jubilee and uh, Beast are very un undergeared for this node, especially when they are main characters. But uh, Bishop coming through with some massive amount of damage and tanking, like he has taunt almost all the time. He's just crazy. And uh, Emma Frost and Misty Sinister just make this team so much better. So, yeah, that's the first clip. Let's take a look at the second one and see how it went. Okay, so let's take a look at the second clip. We are on a similar situation. We are going straight to the boss. You can see the power of the team. So they are similarly, similarly, similarly geared. And uh, you'll see it's, it's so easy. It's uh, incredible. And uh, I'm glad it's this easy. Because with the other team, I use it more often. With the Phoenix team, it was always 80% chance of winning and the other Black Bolt uh, Symbiotes team, uh, it was not so great either. So yeah, it's much better to use this team. So I use the same strategy, attack Korath to remove the speed up, and then blind uh, the Doctor Strange, attack Juggernaut, but this time Juggernaut took way less damage, clone uh, uh, Ronan, and now Magneto came way early, but that's fine, we'll do some damage to him the assist, I should have used the assist in a different way so I could blind right away one of the green minions. Now I use the stun on Magneto. He has tons of negative effects, including slow. On the previous video, or on the previous clip, we didn't he didn't that slow. And of course, if you can, if you are going to stun, it's way better when uh, when characters also have slow together with stun. Now we have the assist from the minions. The slow was removed from uh, Magneto from, by Green Noble. So we get rid of Magneto. Now we are waiting for Pyro. Ronan res resisted the blind. This is a problem. But now because we have the assist from uh, Jubilee, we'll be able to apply the blind to someone else. It was to Pyro. So we still, we still have to deal with uh, Ronan. But now the Kree Royal Guard is going to taunt and that's problematic. So. We have immunity spread by Mr. Sinister. So as you guys can see, this one is not going as good as the other one, but as long as we can blind the Pyro on this stage of the fight, it's all good. And then 
Bishop doing tons and tons of damage to everyone. When I, when we have a pack of characters together, I just love to use the Bishop's ultimate and Jubilee doing amazing job spreading that ability block to everyone. Also spreading some defense down, which which is always amazing. Bishop loves defense down, and I really want to gear up my beast because he fails a lot to remove the positive effects from the enemies and that's something that uh, you need higher focus for but higher focus will only come at uh, level 71 and above so here once again I do the mistake of trying to stun, Ronin, uh, stun uh, Juggernaut I should have stunned the second Ronin but it's not a huge deal because all of them have slow and be because we are doing so much damage they, they just melt away and uh, yeah compared to the other versions of, uh, compared to the other teams that I used for this node, this one is so much better. So far, it has 100% uh, success rate uh, compared to the other ones. Once again, the Phoenix maybe between 80 to 90% chance, may maybe 85 to 80. The other one with the symbiotes and uh, a Black Bolt, mm, I don't know, 75 70% chance. And with this one, as you can see, it's so easy, it's uh, almost laughable. Can you auto? Probably you still can't auto, or maybe when your characters are a little bit stronger. But for me, at least, it's not possible yet. But yeah, guys, this is my new version of beating the Ronan boss node. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button like a boss. Once again, tell me in the comments below if you have been using the Astonishing X-Men team, if you like to use them. If you like the information on this video, I like always, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and I'll catch you guys later.